Australia's elite gymnasts are limbering up for their first step towards qualification for the Rio Olympics. The national championships in Melbourne this week will be more than just a top competition. The athletes will also launch their bids for the Games in 2016. Life in motion, the daring and dizzying feats of the country's finest female gymnasts. Among them, two-time Commonwealth Games silver medalist Marianne Monckton. I don't have a lot of fear. But she still had to change her mindset after having ankle surgery late last year. I've had a few injuries with my back and my ankles, so I've just decided to focus more on training smarter rather than harder. For beam specialist Emma J. Nedoff, nothing beats the feeling of mastering a new skill. Oh, incredible. It's just like doing any skill. It's the thrill of the sport. The gymnasts train six days a week, usually twice a day, at the new National Centre for Excellence in inner city Paran. Australian titles are on the line at the Nationals, but it's also a chance to fine-tune routines for the World Championships in Glasgow in October, where the gymnasts will try to qualify for Rio. We try to simulate what it's going to be like at World Championships and see who can handle it. Because, you know, I don't believe in one-hit wonders. Australia can automatically qualify a full women's Olympic team with a top eight finish at the world titles. It's just getting that one first medal and we're so close, we can smell it, we can taste it. It's right there. Charlize Kingston-White moved from New Zealand to train at the centre. She's just turned 14, which means juggling school life and the strict training regime can get tiring. I do ha sometimes have a little power nap at school. But being the best requires years of dedication to the bars and beam. A lot of people would call that obsessed or even crazy, but these girls are, are passionate and, and they're, they're just disciplined and they, they love what they do or they wouldn't, they wouldn't be here. The type of routine that's simply extraordinary. Jean Edwards, ABC News, Melbourne. Sure is. To the weather.